What's happening, Hoodlum Gang? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big old end, aka the world's most dangerous YouTuber, aka we're gonna skip all that. Look, before we get started, you already know what to do, man. It's the same instructions every single time. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, go ahead, leave me a comment, go on over to IG and follow me at Hoodie from the Hood. With that being said, let's get into it. Y'all see the title? Uh, I'm gonna make this real short um but it ain't a short of course but yeah it ain't gonna be that long um i actually didn't watch this full interview i only saw nina boy react to it shout out to nina boy um his reaction had me dying i ain't gonna lie that man that was comedy that was comedy every time he paused it and went in that was comedy but uh snoopy badass um if you don't know, as a rapper uh, from Compton, LA, whatever, um, <laughs> he went on no jumper. He was getting interviewed by Adam and Brick Baby. Uh, he also had the, the the older dude that's sitting next to him is Mob James' brother, I believe. Yeah, that's that's Mob James' older brother. I mean, younger brother. Um, so he went on there and uh, from the little bit that I seen, that was probably about a 30 minute reaction that Nina Boy did. He had a lot to say. Um, <laughs> number one, he still don't think he told. <laughs> he still, <laughs> he in denial. <laughs> he don't think he told homie, but deep down inside, that man know he told um, especially when you're doing little shit like giving cowboy a shout out like come on bro you you know what you're doing homie. you know what category you in you in the category of niggas who told and certain niggas still fuck with you so you feel like you could speak like that or you could still talk with some uh dignity and aggression because certain niggas still fuck with you for whatever reason you told bro you told in that interview uh by you saying, I got on the stand for the nigga who killed my homie. Bro, you're not supposed to say shit like that. I don't know if you have a, uh, somebody who, uh, what is that? Is that, is that PR? Is that, is that PR? You need somebody to, 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 to help you think or something. Like he, he seems like a, um, a spontaneous person. Like he just blurt shit out of his mouth, homie. Um, you got to understand for old boy, even though, uh, I think he's saying here, here's one thing I genuinely in my heart and I might get killed for this homie in the comments, not in the comments, but, uh, I genuinely don't think that man tried to tell. I don't think he thinks that's telling, um, now, if I'm not mistaken, he was like 20 years old when this happened. But I also don't know if he was repping his section yet. Whatever, I know all that don't matter. I just feel like maybe he wasn't laced. Maybe he didn't have a big homie or older siblings or something. Maybe he is the only child or the oldest sibling. I don't know. But he genuinely thinks that he did the right thing by saying, oh yeah, that was him, but he wasn't trying to kill us. He looked scared. Bro, you're not supposed to. I don't care if he's on camera. Back to the cowboy situation, the, the the Nipsey and Eric Holder thing. It's on camera. Hey, you let them go view the cameras and do all that. You're not supposed to assist them. I don't I don't care if they see you on camera. You supposed to not say nothing, bro. That's what happens when you're in the streets. You're not supposed to be like, oh yeah, he did it, but it was because of this, or he didn't mean to kill us. He wasn't trying to kill. Bro, you're assisting the investigation. You're you're helping them convict somebody it doesn't matter if that nigga want to get up there and tell on himself that's on him you're not supposed to tell on him with him that's what he don't understand bro and it's funny and it's goofy at the same time that this nigga just keep on nigga i did the most gangster shit ever no you did the goofiest shit ever that's not gangster bro that is not gangster you was not supposed to do that homie period you foul i don't care who fuck with you you foul homie um 
Then he said, oh, I was in the San Bernardino County jail, whatever the case is, homie. Oh, I didn't want people to know I was in there because I didn't want, you didn't want people to know you was in there because you didn't want nobody to send word to get on your motherfucking ass. Somebody got some connections, homie, and they probably would have got on you, homie. That's why you was quiet about it. Yeah, you don't want niggas to be like, free Snoopy badass because then niggas would have located where you was at. Even though that still could have happened, you know what I mean, with somebody being in there with you, but they probably just don't care. Had you been locked up in the LA County Jail or the Riverside County Jail where you, uh, where this case took place uh, in Riverside County, I think Moreno Valley, I don't know for sure, uh, you probably would have got pressed over there for that and you know that. So all this technicalities and shit that you keep trying to do, use a rat. Um, what else? He, he he said a few things. Like he he was he was saying a little slick little shit, homie. Like uh first of all, he he was popping it. I, I was like, is this nigga on drugs? I ain't never seen him pop it like that. He was feeling himself. Um He had said something and he was like, yeah, like basically like how the bloods be hating on other bloods. And then he was like, the Crips might be like uh you know, let him get his money or whatever. He was like, cuz or loke or whatever the fuck they say. Nigga, you know what the fuck we say? Like, little subliminal jabs like that was irritating me, homie. You know what we say, nigga. What you mean, whatever the fuck they say? Like, I don't know. Then, Fody Crip, nigga, to me, uh, it was two times that I feel like Brick Baby should have let his nuts hang. He should have said something to that boy. Um, one where he was talking about motherfuckers getting comfortable and he used Nipsey as a, uh, a reference and an example. He was like, oh, he got too comfortable out there. He shouldn't have got that comfortable. Whatever he said. Me, if I was Brick Boy, I'd be like, hey, homie, hey, we not, we not gonna do that. We're not even speaking on my homie right now. Like, he should have said something right there. Uh, he let that fly. Um, that wasn't even the worst part. Um, when, uh, when they was talking about, um, was it Draco? I think they was talking about Draco. And he was like, uh, something, something, basically he was just like, um, oh yeah, no, nah, no, nah, it ain't no dis, no, it was, it might've been Slim Fo Honey. He was like, yeah, it was Slim Fo Honey. He was like, it ain't no disrespect, you know what I mean? And, uh, Rick Baby was like, yeah, that's my boy or something like, yeah, we not gonna do that. And then he was like, I mean, if I wanted to, I would've, I would've, I would've, I would've said it in front of whoever, uh, including you, uh, yeah, uh, what he say? Bombed in Pyro. Like, just the way he said it was like he was checking him like, nigga, I would have said it, nigga, and he put it on. Like, bro, that right there, I had to rewind that like three times. I was like, I know he didn't just say that. The way he said it was aggressive. Like, yeah, if I wanted to, I would have said it in front of anybody, even you. Bombed in Pyro. Like, <laughs> he was feeling himself, man. That nigga was on one today. Uh, he said he said a few more things, homie, but you know he that dude is a, a another spin artist. You know what I mean? He like to spin things and make it seem like it's not what you think it is. It's really like this, nigga. You back over there in your hood? I guess I don't know for sure, but it looked like he is. Um, you had like a whole two, two, two and a half, probably three years where you was acting like a non-affiliate, like you didn't bang. You know what I mean? And now you back banging again. Everything is blood, 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 blood. He said that shit so many times. That's another thing if I was Brick Baby, I would have had to say something about like, bro, we get where you from, nigga. You're not about to keep just blood me, nigga. I'm not, I'm not your blood, homie. Um, it seemed like he was overdoing it. He was putting it on thick. Like I said, you just had a couple years where you wasn't banging and we seen lives or interviews with you where you didn't say blood not one time. Now all of a sudden, Nigga, that's your 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 uh your whole vocabulary again. Um Yeah, like I said, I mean I don't know, bro. He was talking about he was rebelling against his homies. My man's you had a whole blue chuck and a red chuck tatted on your face. Now he colored them black since he back banging again. I don't know, I just see a lot of weird shit with old boy, homie. Um I don't know the nigga personally. This is just my assessment off of watching him the few times because i don't really click on his shit like i said i clicked on it because nina boy did a reaction to it and i'm glad i did because that was hilarious i mean that shit had me dying i ain't gonna lie but 
Y'all let me know what y'all think. Did y'all see it? Go check out Nina Boy's reaction. If you ain't got nothing to do, it's about 37 minutes long. Obviously, I didn't have nothing to do. Um, I was at work, but y'all go check it out. Let me know what y'all think. Am I tripping? Uh, do y'all believe he told or he didn't tell? Do y'all believe that niggas is just hating on him and just blackballing him and all this crazy shit like he ain't did nothing wrong? I mean, it's, it's, it's three sides to every story. It's your side, the other person's side, and it's the truth. So, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. I'm about to slide back up in here, man. I got shit to do. But, it's your boy Hoodie from the Hood. I'm out.